Hello, my astrology friends. This is Lada from astrolada.com. And uh, today, Krasi called me and said, let's speak about the comet. I have really fascinating information. I was like, what comet? <laughs> Hello, Krasi. <laughs> what <laughs> comet? Tell us. <laughs> yes, Lada, also, I also understood quite recently uh, through astro astronomical uh, bulletins, you know, from the observatories, you know, this comet is very interesting. It is the, the last time the comet uh, appeared was 417 years ago. Um, we will see through two, two ways, you know, to try to analyze what the comet will bring us. Always comets bring something to Earth, you know, always. Now, um, in the ancient times, people would fear the comets. They would, would consider them evil. I, I was researching uh, old translations of old cuneiform Babylonian texts. And I found similarity between comet, which appeared in similar uh, celestial path and this one, and we will try to analyze it. There are a couple few factors which we need to consider always when we look at comets. Of course, most important is the how shiny, the, how visible the comet is. And they say the shinier, obviously, the more influential to us the comet is. Secondly, of course, it is how many days the comet will be visible, how many days. And they, they translate the days into years. Let's say the comet will be visible uh, 10 days, 10 years of influence on humanity. Oh, and this wow. comet, that, that's a long, okay, sorry. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, well, we will see. But this comet started its path on the 8th of September, but actually is visible to us uh, from the 12th of September and will be visible according to astronomical bulletins. We will see, of course, until 21st of September, count around nine, 10 days. Yes. Whoa. Actually, uh, you can see the comet uh, like a couple of minutes before the sun rises. I couldn't see the comet because we had we have clouds here, but I'll try tomorrow again. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, people already are saying that the color is very greenish, like white and then continuous greenish. Why the color is important? Because the color would have the energy of a planet. Let's say the the, the the comet has green, like people say. Yeah, I just one lady wrote me uh, the comet in uh, in the uh, um, middle of Europe was green, in Bulgaria green. Yesterday people saw it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the states somebody said green. So this is mm -hmm. not such a bad sign if we translate the color into merc Mercurian color because the color of Mercury mostly is greenish, right? Even though Mercury can be changing colors but mostly is greenish so if we you, you see depends let's say you see it in very um amethyst uh, blackish grayish saturn then we can expect saturn in uh, influences reddish warlike situations from oh, mars you don't want red <laughs> yes so it will depend it will be and i will remi remind you also of something in 2020 i forgot the month but it was new wise planet um the ah. new but it was also in the summer 2020 yeah. and if you remember uh it had uh in the beginning um very grayish and then it's in some parts of the world people would say it was orangey it, indeed if you if we think uh this uh, the impact was what Yes, spiritual awakening, but also the troubles which we had in the world because of the reddish orangey energy, something like that. Because from different parts of the world, you see it differently. So to see the Babylonian, um, before we look at the color again uh, and the length of the influences to see what the influences might be. Now, um, I will, uh, one second, let me tell you. Uh, some small second. There was um, in Babylonian times one one comet called Ugaga, which means the raven. The raven for them was uh, very very evil, malefic bird, and mm -hmm. because they associated the raven with mm -hmm. the blood of Tiamat. Let me tell you. Tiamat, when we look, when you look at the ancient Babylonian uh, story of uh, Enuma Elish, 
Tiamat was the mother of creation. You know, Enuma Elish, she was the, uh, the grandmother of uh, Marduk. People can read Enuma Elish is translated in French, in English, in German, in any language. And at certain point, once she uh, participated in the creation of the human beings, she said humans are noisy and she wanted to destroy them, even though she created them. Of course, noisy in a mythological story will not have this direct meaning. There will be something, I'm still wondering what was the meaning of this noisiness, you know, of the humans. There are many, many, many interpretations anyway. So she wanted to destroy the humans. No one could really stand up um, in, um, in front of Tiamat, but Marduk said her grandson, Jupiter, said, I would destroy her and he did. And they said uh, the blood of Tiamat is destructive. So the raven back then was, re was related to destruction, you know, and the planet was seen as a very evil omen. This back then. Uh, you mean the, the, the comet, not the, the planet. Oh, the comet, excuse me, the comet, yes. So the comet was seen as very evil. Now, um, why? I see some, well, of course the color uh, depends. They saw it reddish, most probably, uh, since they call about, speak about blood. The similarity though, uh, is that the planet back then appeared like usual in one of the three celestial paths. We have the path of Anu and Liu and Ea. These three paths, you know, uh, on the sky are used, were used, and I personally still use them um, oftentimes in mundane astrology predictions, also in the personal readings. But these celestial paths are very important because depending on the appearance of a planet or a comet or any starry celestial body, you can uh, see what the planet will, or the comet will, will bring. So the, the path was the path of Anu. The path of Anu, back then they said, will bring destruction to a cut. Back then, a cut would have would be can be translated eventually in contemporary Europe. Uh, so, uh, because there are ways, like you stand, you know, when you measure the, um, uh, you know, the directions. Anyway, if this is yes, because Acadia was in Greece, so towards Europe, yeah. So a cut, a cut. So, if this is happening, uh, it would mean important, you know, <laughs> decisive events and not very benevolent in relation to Europe. However, however, the green color is giving me some hopes, especially when seen from Europe, you know, that the green colors, uh, if we say that the green really is related to uh, Mercury. Okay. And now the most important, yeah, say what, what you had in mind, and I want to tell you the, the days and the, the zodiacal placements when she's passing, because it's also very important. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, where can we see it in the sky? Which constellation is it? Exactly. Now, yesterday, uh, already before yesterday, but yesterday, when we uh, on the 12th, when we say that we could see the planet, the, I keep saying planet, the comet already, would pass through Leo, especially the star Zosma. 16, 17 degree Leo is the star Zosma. Through this star. Now, you know, Leo enlightenment, uh, ruled by the sun, um, it will certainly have impact on people ruled by having ascendant Leo or moon in Leo, sun in Leo. Uh, Currently for tropical zodiac, that would be Virgo. If you yes. have something around, that's around 20 degrees Virgo, isn't it? Approximately. <clears throat> Approximately, yes. Oh, 10 so, degrees. so 10 degrees Virgo, I'm not sure. But you so, can take it in, a bit in more general terms because, yeah. because she enters Leo, continues through Virgo. So she takes these two constellations, which will mm -hmm. be translated, as you said, you know, uh, tropically into the uh, Virgo. Uh, so look, the thing is uh, start, uh, passing through, uh, becoming uh, more visible um, through Zosma. Zosma, um, is star of astrology actually, or other powerful esoteric sciences, not simply mm, playing with a, you know, it's serious, serious stuff. It, it can do, it can do good. Like if this is greenish, mercurial, could be that we come up with some new, new knowledge, new research 
information or or it could be that from from the ancients we get some new powerful mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. could be we will see this is in terms of uh, of um, influences more on a personal uh, horoscopes level then today uh, and tomorrow continues through the nebula you know the nebula in, is also astrological star but already I think 24 degree or something through the end of uh, the lion Leo on the 15th already enters Virgo mm -hmm. constellation uh, Virgo so that yeah that's still Virgo in tropical Yes, and continues. Seventeenth will reach perihelion, meaning in on the seventeenth will be very near the sun. How I see this to tell you? Usually, we know uh, when comet, planet, any body comes near the sun, we don't see it, right? It becomes yeah. burnt in the rays of the sun. But you can also see this maybe as the most potent moment because then it is like. The sun is the ruler of the solar system. You know, it's it's a serious stuff. It will get the. Uh, it's like a, a, like a conception. Imagine the sun is like a egg, and this comet is like a sperm <laughs> conception type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Even even this analogy is fine because because we're talking about it could be this is the most significant moment of uh, the decisive moment for the for for us for for. for for politics for the world and then on the 21st um it is leaving already will be um leaving the constellation so basically we'll be able to see the comet i think on, until the 21st but i'm not sure whether this day when the comet will be near the sun will be visible mm -hmm. but we can try early in the mornings to see it so basically these are the dates and that's why i wanted to tell you now because it is valid now and people mm -hmm. can watch and share under our video, what did they see? Which colors they see? And also mind you on personal level, the color you see is for you, mm -hmm. right? Because you see greenish, it might be, could be that you get really significant knowledge. Even it could even be related to, Rip. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Not okay. only knowledge, but Mercury is information, Mercury is commerce. Business. Business. Commerce. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you see red, well, it depends what colors uh, and how shiny. And mm -hmm. as you see, we're talking about 19 days. Whatever you see, we all see might have influence in the next 10, 9, 10 years. I was also thinking, if we don't see it very shiny, let's say from your personal geographical um, placement, uh, could be that the influence will not last that long. Because it that will not have that that much of power, you know. Because it's not visible, yeah. Yes, depends. Um, we we might we might hope that this will, the, the the weather to be a bit cloudy. <laughs> yeah, but then, actually, yeah, if it's cloudy, it's again a sign it's not visible. It's yes. <laughs> at least cloudy in this country. Well, this country will be protected or not affected by what's happening. Yes, yes, could be, we but could also. Be Yes, comets were not considered uh, good events. They were considered evil, evil omens. Again, the detail would remain on the color. Could be that this is not so evil. So people should not be really afraid. Just watch with wise eye, naked eye. You don't need to be armed, you know, to watch. Naked eye is quite fine and we will see it with naked eye sh sh shortly before the sun rises. Mm -hmm. And... So being in Virgo, uh, when it's very bright, one of the parts, are you worried again about uh, disease, illness, pandemics? Well, the, there are too many details. I was just looking at other details, which are, remember, uh, 2021, I think November, December, first appearance of Mars in Scorpio. I will not tell you what followed just months after the war in Ukraine. Scorpio, the best placement of Mars, classical war. Watch 2019, November. When did Mars appear? Virgo. Virgo. Classical. Mars is the one who, according to the ancients, would stay behind pandemics, destruction, 
uh, disease on cattle, on animals, on people. So you can see how these things just have some very clear order. And let me tell you when the next appearance of Mars will be. It will be on the 28th of April, I think, 2024 in Pisces. What is Pisces? Water, mm -hmm. health. So Immune system, yeah. Mm -hmm. Immune system. It is also um, people who are running away from their... Our uh, refugees, homeless, drugs. Refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Pisces, and especially this water, Piscean energy, could very much be about um, natural disasters. Related. Natural. Yeah. yeah. Could be that this, is, this will change the course of, of war of the war uh, for sure. And we may see totally different agenda. Yeah, yeah. The, it seems like the agenda changes and it's not just human made agenda, it's divine made agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it changes yeah. every two and a half years with the new cycle of Mars, because Mars new cycle shows where will the problems be the next two years. But yes. we in the middle of those comets, which is kind of rare and they give us extra details. And by the way, Krasi, you're so knowledgeable about Babylonian astrology. Krasi is offering a really good discount now on a personal reading with her, 45 minutes, uh, but your Babylonian natal chart. And it's discounted to $140 from $200 uh, just for a few more days. If you'd like a personal reading with Krasi, she would read your chart using omens and Babylonian, uh, uh, basically ancient astrology, the actual constellations that she's talking about, what it means for you, visible, invisible planets. If you'd like that, I'll put the link below to connect with Krasi. But uh, fascinating. I'm looking forward to see what the, the Leo energy will bring. Leo is uh, people in power, people, leaders. Of oh, some, yeah. Or uh, celebrities or... This Holy reminds Holy. me immediately of one who has Leo ascendant. This is Donald Trump, or other. Oh, wow, yeah. So this is in general, Leo people will be influenced. I, I don't think that we should be worried. Uh, this can certainly bring changes in, in people's lives. Um, we do not have so much of experience exactly this comet on this comet because you see 430 or 460 years ago yeah. it was it was seen but of course we should be careful now a little bit more careful it is different it depends see when you look at the uh, medieval authors take William Lilly I was looking at his approach towards comets they looked at it as if it is a planet and it makes aspects honestly they look at the aspects which is also interesting so we could see of course in the in the um, personal horoscopes the aspects which the comet will make and the, then we will know we will judge how the comet will influence per um, on individual levels of uh, people's lives but if it is greenish i'm not so worried <laughs> okay so yeah people are confirming here in the chat it was green ah see and uh, write us more from all parts of the world please we want to see what uh, what is the color wow yes fascinating well let's see because green also reminds me of uh, poison and witches <laughs> i thought about that but green is also health water because oh yeah people... it's health and... <laughs> but not in a, in this malefic way because um well i hope it's not like some distraction with commerce and businesses because after all it it is a comet but we'll, we'll be watching now it may it may um fasten the uh, change on the financial system which it may that makes sense okay the if this is green Could it be is dollar is green is dollar gonna disappear in the next 10 years seven eight years yeah all the money money is green so the yeah the monetary system might be the sign of that uh and it, through leo ruling classes who knows <laughs> but again we are not powerless puppets oh, no. really unless we say unless we allow <laughs> we are not so but thank you for reminding us always <laughs> oh yeah yeah you're very well i do always well i don't forget to remind it <laughs> it's not all totally fated no. No, 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 no. Um, the, our thoughts, reactions, words, um, actions, it all will matter now. It matters. Lack of action, uh, everything, all, always part of our free will. And Players, so helpful. People spiritual are so awakening, awake. enlightenment, yeah. all this is part of the whole story. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much, Krasi, again. You can Thank come you, to Krasi for her ancient wisdom plus uplifting uh, spirituality uh, with free will, uh, new Christianity energy <laughs> rather than doom and gloom. <laughs> I'll put the link below. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, enjoy watching the comment. May 